Yeah, I think there are some things that <clears throat> I can put my finger on and, and we're <clears throat> going to find, you know, we're going to continue to research that to see what we can, how we can make a difference in the off season, how we can make a difference for next year because this certainly isn't acceptable to anybody, anybody in this room, anybody in this community, anybody in the athletic department, including the co coaches. So we're going to, we're going to definitely make some changes. <clears throat> I'll definitely let you know. And uh, again, if you're kind of beating around the bush here, Duke, about applying for a job as an assistant coach, the answer is no. How many times do I have to tell you that? Yeah, next Monday for me right now, you know. It's kind of eating me up right now, so, I, you know, I'm, we're going to have a team meeting Monday and get going and meet with the kids and meet with the coaches and start doing that. Stay home for a couple of days, Monday and Tuesday, and then go out recruit. And i got to stay till Wednesday because i got a radio show, but then there's a lot of games over the weekend, so we'll probably stay out over the weekend. All the playoff games in Texas high schools, uh, in California playoff games and then all the bowl junior college bowl games uh, that were getting lined up for this this weekend so we'll be out actively recruiting these next two weeks and next two weekends <clears throat> no I don't think we'll go to the juco too much um, no probably less than before, you know, we have three kids on campus at Gray Shirt that'll be eligible this this uh, January that will help our team. <clears throat> and then, you know, we have um, a lot of players coming back that have started for us. Uh, almost 35 players, 31 players, and then a kicker, punter, holder, snapper. Well, those four players will all be back next year. Maybe two punters. Hey, how about Greg Hyatt coming off the bench? to do what he did. You know, Pete was struggling. He's been struggling the last couple of weeks and just, it's in a, he's in a slump. It's just like hitting a golf ball, I think. You know, some days you can hit it real well, other, other days you can't. I don't know of those other days where you hit it real well, but, um, but people tell me that it can happen. But um, Pete's it's in a slump and Hyatt came in and did a fantastic job. Really did good. A lot to ask of a walk-on. In that situation. What's that? Greg Hyatt. I think at this time, yeah, I, we haven't dis we haven't set the uh, travel squad. <clears throat> I mean, he's traveling, so he's not traveling to go down there to signal punt to the punter. So he'll. I, I mean, he's going to be down there for a reason. So I think that's what's going to happen. We might punt both of, both of them. Our game plan, though, is not to punt. Last year was my first one. Yeah. Yeah. We were five and seven last year. Why would we want to be five and seven again this year? But I want to be five and seven. <laughs> God. Sorry. That's okay. Yeah, I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, it has. It's uh, we had uh, six recruits in for this game and and um, had six commitments. So go figure. <laughs> what a great crowd! This atmosphere was fantastic. Well, yeah, yeah, it was, wasn't it? <laughs> go figure. <laughs> so it went really, really good. Probably the Rice game, you know. I feel like that. Because we, we had a chance in those other games, we kind of blew that game, you know, giving that lead up like that. Not that Chase Clement isn't. We'll still be, everybody's still chasing Chase Clement. You know, 
Tulane did, and he still he broke uh, Tommy Kramer's passing records at Rice. So, <clears throat> but I'd say that game was kind of a disappointing one, and then we, you know, kind of went downhill from there. And this game was definitely the bottom. I mean, this was because the other games we've been in and had a chance. <clears throat> In all of the games this year, that has been the case, except for this last one. And it's still in the first half, there were some plays that we thought we could have, you know, made that we didn't. <clears throat> Bad third quarter, though, come out first play and boom. What's your biggest regret this season? I don't ha have any, um, any regrets on some decisions I think I made. You know, would have liked to have done things differently, but I wouldn't call it a regret. <clears throat> How much do you think the players pay attention to, I guess, during the chase for national election race going on and they have a chance to have a say in that? Do they pay attention to that? Yeah, yeah right, yeah. Well, well, I think they, we kind of remind them of that. <clears throat> and I think that, that normally those things kind of spur you on during the week to practice better. But when he's breaking up the field, you know, and running at you and you're one-on-one -on -one with him, it doesn't have anything to do with it, you know. But I think in preparation, Brett, you use some of those things to motivate guys. Hey, you know, we got a chance to upset their card a little bit. I think, you know, we just need to be excited about playing one more game and, and being excited in the stadium. It's a great stadium, I guess. It's awesome to play down there. <clears throat> Not going to Disney World yet. Any thoughts on George O'Leary? Well, I kind of put George O'Leary and Jeff Bauer and well, in kind of the same group. You know, they're old school, hard nosed dudes. Who just coach football the way it should be coached, and I like them a lot. Kind of grumpy old guy, you know, but I like him a lot. He's, um, we uh, talk quite, you know, when we'll, he's a quiet guy. He's not like me. He's a quiet guy, but, but, um, but we get along real good, and I respect him a lot, and I think he respects me too. <clears throat> Okay, Duke, when's that resume going to be? You're going to fax it to me or we just drop it off in Mona? Email it. Okay. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks for everything this, uh, this year. I would have liked, all of us would have liked for it to be a better year. It's a lot more fun covering sports when you're covering the winning team. I know that. And, uh, but I sure appreciate um, everything you guys done. I think that in, you've pretty much been positive and supportive and, and, um, I appreciate that. I know you got to write what you see, and uh, sometimes it isn't pretty, and you got to call the way you see it. But I don't. I, I really feel like everybody's. No one has their own hidden agenda or anything like that. Everybody's just doing their job, and and uh, I appreciate um, the friendship, and and also um, um, I know that you would love us to win just as much as they'd like to win. So thanks.